Here is question number 8. This is for you to practice for the test on dot product of vectors. Question 8 is, the vertices of a triangle PQR are P equals to 5 minus 1, 6, Q is 220, and R is minus 3 minus 5, 8. Part A is determine angle PQR, and part B is find the exact area of the triangle PQR. So, pause the video and then once you have solved, restart and watch my suggestions. Now, what should we do? What we can do is, we can just make a rough sketch and see what the situation is. Well, here is a kind of a triangle and uh, we have points P, Q, R here. Let's say this is P and this is Q and this is R. Now. In that case, we need to find angle QPR. That means QPR is this angle. This is the angle which we want to find. Now, to find this angle, we need to find what is RP and what is PR. Now, once we get these two vectors, then we can use dot product and get the answer, right? So, let's find out what is what are these two vectors, correct? So, let's find out these two vectors now. Let's say these are my vectors, right? So we say, what is PQ? Vector PQ is equals to Q minus P, right? So 2, 2, 0 is Q minus of P, which is 5, minus 1 makes it plus, and 6, right? Which is minus 3, 3, minus 6. That is PQ. And now, what is PR? So PR is equals to R values are minus 3, minus 5, and 8. And P values are, we'll do minus of P values, which are 5 plus 1 minus 6. And that gives us minus 8, and this is minus 4, and that is 2. So that is PR for us, right? Now, the angle between them, let it be theta. In that case, cos of theta is equals to vector PQ, vector PR, dot product, over magnitude of PQ times magnitude of PR. Correct? So let's put it in. So PQ, let's calculate that dot product separately. So let's do it here, dot product of PQ and PR. That is, this is PQ, this is PR. So we have, we are doing, let's use different ink, PQ dot PR equals to, so it is minus 3, 3 minus 6 dot of minus 8, minus 4 and 2. Now, that gives us minus 24 plus 24 minus 12 and this is minus 12. Uh, no, so, sorry. Uh, I shouldn't write like this. So, when you multiply them, what you get is plus 24, then minus 12 and minus 12 and that is equal to 0. So that dot product is zero for us. So we have cos theta is zero divided by something, which is theta. And that gives us theta as 90 degrees, right? Now, if theta is 90 degrees, that means this is a right triangle, right? Now, since this is a right triangle, then the area will be half base into height. So product of these two sides into half, right? So that's part. So we have done part A. Let me write here now, part A. And part B is area. So area of the triangle equals to half PQ magnitude magnitude of PQ times magnitude of PR. Right? So that's the area. Area is scalar quantity. And then we can calculate this. Okay? So just calculate areas, right? So area is 3 square plus 3 square plus 6 square. So let me write this as 9 plus 9 plus 36, right? Times square root of 
8 square plus 4 square plus 2 square which is 64 I mean 64 plus 16 plus 4 right and calculate this answer to find the exact answer correct so that gives you the area of the given triangle I hope the process is clear to you thank you